Hey there, guitar and golf fans. Hey, I was thinking about that fight song, Nailed to the Gun. I said, what was I thinking, man? We're in drop tuning. Why don't we just play everything on the E and the A? That's the whole idea for drop tuning anyhow. Play everything on those two strings, right? So anyways, that means we got to play all the way up and down this neck. But it's great practice, though. So where's that part at, the first part? Well, that's going to be... At the 13th fret, we're, gonna, we're just going to play the A and the E strings. Then we're going down to the 11th fret. Back up to the 13th. To the 14th. To the 13th. So it's a... That's the top part. But we're not going to play it all up there. That's too easy, right? Plus, we don't have that heavy sound. We gotta have high and that low, right? So we're gonna go. Then I'm gonna slide down. See? A little heavier, right? Also, when you play on the E and the A string, it allows you to do Chunky Monkey better. So you can kind of... Play. So if you want to keep a low Chunky Monkey track down there and then kind of mix it up in the mix, you know. But I think it sounds awesome, man, you know. Now, there's another part in there that I forgot to put in. It's kind of a bridge, and it goes. Does it again, you know? That's not part of it. I just made that up. But basically, it's just a walk down. So what am I doing? So I'm starting off on 13, 11, 9, then I go 8, 4, Six. That's it, man. That's how I would do it. I'd rearrange it. <laughs> Anyways, but that's it. So you got three parts, right? So you got the got that part. And then you got that. Oh, I forgot the nail to the gun part. So instead of doing the A here, remember we got to play everything on the E and A string? Well, we're right here. So we're in drop tuning, right? So what is that? That's the seventh fret, my friend. So, so instead of going A here, we're going to go. And the great thing about playing on this E and A string is you can slide down to your chords and stuff, so you get that extra, you know, edge to it, you know. That's the thing I dig, you know. I mean, the other, the other one's clean. You know, when you do chords on the, on the A string, the power chords... You know, they're nice and clean, you know, and it's good for uh, kind of poppy punk stuff, you know. But man, oh, the other thing is, you got to make sure your guitar is really in tune, you know. Those are the same chords, that just sounds different, right? Kind of Black Sabbath type stuff. So that's the thing, you know, when you're playing a song... And you get the progression, you know, work that one in, but then try different stuff, you know. Change up the, the chord progression on it. You know, it's pretty cool.
Anyways, folks, just another way of doing it. Thing is, is we want to be able to get to where we can go all over the neck. But when we're in drop tuning, if we're playing rhythm tracks and we want that heavy, try to play as much on the E and the A, or what I call the E string power chords, as opposed to switching over to the A string power chords. It's going to take a little bit to get it down, you know, but one of the key tips that I told you before is not to press hard when you fret, you know. See, if I press hard... Actually, up here it's not too bad, but when you get down here it's going to take it out of tune, but you know. Uh, one, one key, to, I get that little rubber band uh, palm muting, my chunky monkey. I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret here. I let my fingers bounce a little bit when I'm palm muting it. Anyways, just some more crap you can play and drop tunings, but I love it because it sounds heavy. Heavy duty, as Spinal Tap says, later. <laughs>